Hello, boys and girls. It's Bible time again. I hope you'll join me as we do our Bible verses and sing a couple songs and do our Bible lesson. Let's start with Matthew 22, 37 and 38. We're going to sing it first and then we're going to say it. Let's see if you can do the sign language with me. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Matthew 22, 37 and 38. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and the great commandment. Good job, boys and girls. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, aren't you glad Jesus loves you? Let's pray and thank him. Lord, thank you that you love us so much. The Bible says that we love you because you first loved us, and we thank you for that. Now, Lord, help me to teach this Bible lesson. Help the boys and girls to listen, not just with their ears, but with their heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I told you yesterday we had a very special lesson, and we do have a very special lesson from God's Word in Luke chapter 15, we'll be studying Luke chapter 15, and we're going to be looking at verses 3 through 7. But as we do that, let me show you my friend here. This, boys and girls, is Snowflake. And when we come back to school next week, we're going to play some games with Snowflake. And Snowflake has a cousin. Oh, yes, there's two little lambs. And we're going to be going upstairs to the fellowship hall, and we're going to have a couple of our boys and girls hide Snowflake, and then we're going to have to try to find Snowflake and Snowflake's cousin. Won't that be fun? It'll be something different, but it'll be a lot of fun, and we're going to do that. But today, I have to tell you a time when Snowflake, mm-hmm, yep, Snowflake got lost. And, well, Snowflake got lost, and the Good Shepherd had to find Snowflake. And we'll put Snowflake right up here next to me. Let's see. Hopefully we can turn this so you can see Snowflake. There we go. And see Miss Comstock as I teach God's holy word. Well, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. We learned already how Jesus loves us so much. Here he is, Jesus loving the little children. That's us right there. In God's eyes, we're all like little children. And... God likes us to love us just like a good shepherd would love his little lamb. Well, we're going to learn a lesson about little snowflake here today. All right. Well, the good shepherd would take his sheep out of the sheepfold every morning. They go out to the gate every morning and would take them out and lead them in a place where the water was just very still beside the still waters and the grass was nice and green for the sheep to eat. Oh, they would rest there. They would eat there and they would follow the good shepherd as the good shepherd would lead them. Well, let me tell you what happened with one of those little sheep. This is Snowflake. Snowflake was born in the springtime and, well, actually, I'm going to let Snowflake tell her story, okay? I was born in the springtime when the flowers were just beautiful green. And, oh, I, I just loved to run and jump. My mama, my mama would take good care of me. Oops, I went through a little bit too far. Let's see. I think I have a picture of Snowflake's mama here. Yep, there we go. I missed one picture. Here we go. Here we go. Snowflake was born in the springtime when the birds were singing and all the trees were budded and growing and, and the grass was nice and green and the flowers were beautiful. And God had, the shepherd named him Snowflake because he said that she was the whitest little lamb he had ever, ever seen. 
And so he named Snowflake. Oh, Snowflake liked to have her own way. Just like sometimes boys and girls, don't we want to have our own way? Mm-hmm. And sometimes Snowflake would get in trouble. Ooh, sometimes that happens to us too, doesn't it, boys and girls? But our good shepherd, oh, our good shepherd loves us. Our good shepherd, boys and girls, our good shepherd wants to take care of us just like Snowflake's shepherd wanted to take care of Snowflake. Well, one day, one day when Snowflake was there in the pasture with his mama, all of a sudden a lion, two lions came out of the woods. And just about the time we I saw it, the, said Snowflake, the good shepherd saw those those lions too. And he put a stone in a slingshot and went round and round and round and let that stone fly and hit the lion right in the head. Oh, that lion let out a roar of pain and our shepherd picked up his staff and went chasing right after him and drove him away. Who who said Snowflake, I felt like staying close to the good shepherd that day. But sometimes, sometimes Snowflake was just not so obedient. Sometimes Snowflake would do not do right. Well, one day the good shepherd said to Snowflake, Snowflake, you have a bad look in your eye. You better stay close by all your sheep and your mama today because I feel there's a storm coming. It's getting close to winter time in the Holy Land. Oh, says Snowflake, yes, I do have a bad look in my eye because I don't want to be treated like a little lamb anymore. I think I'm a quite grown up sheep and I want to have my own way. And so when the shepherd and his mama wasn't looking, Snowflake hid behind a rock and then went up the hillside all by herself. Went up one path, another, and ate grass all the way along the way. But then all of a sudden, she looked over and whoo, it was so far down, she got dizzy. Snowflake got dizzy and said, oh, you know what? I, I, I probably better get back with my mama now, but uh-oh, which way did I come? I, I don't remember which way I came. Oh, well, Snowflake tried to find her way down. But you know what, boys and girls? She couldn't. She couldn't find her way down to her mama all by herself. She didn't know the way. And so she tried real hard and all of a sudden she slipped over the side of the cliff. And she, so she was looking down and she was, she saw the good shepherd and her mama way down below. And he was leading them back to the sheepfold already because, because it looked like winter time. It was getting darker and darker and darker. And uh oh, it looked like it was going to be nighttime, but it wasn't nighttime. It wasn't time for it to be night yet. Oh, no. Must be one of those winter storms that the shepherd was telling us about is coming. Well, Snowflake tried to find her way down, but she slipped over the side and fell in a thorn bush. And the more Snowflake wiggled and the more she tried to get out, the more that those thorns stuck into her wool and held her tight. She couldn't get out by herself. She couldn't find her way home by herself. Oh no, what was she gonna do? When the shepherd led, led all the sheep back to the sheepfold and counted them as they went through the gate. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, but not 100, no. Oh, would the good shepherd miss Snowflake here, this naughty little lamb? Would his mama, would her mama, for, would she think, oh, where, where's my snowflake? Oh, but why should anybody miss old snowflake, that naughty little lamb? Why should anybody care? Why would the good shepherd want to risk his own life to come out in this terrible storm? Oh, thought snowflake, I'm so sad. I wish I hadn't have disobeyed. And all of a sudden, ah. <gasps> All of a sudden, Snowflake felt something cold drop all over her and even land on her nose. And, oh, it was white and it was very, very, very cold and wet. Oh, what was it, boys and girls? What could it be? That's right. It was snow. Snow was coming down and falling on Snowflake. And now Snowflake understood why the Good Shepherd 
called her Snowflake because it was just as white as her wool, but it was wet and it was cold and soon Snowflake was shivering all over. Oh, so cold. Bah, bah, she cried. Bah, here I am. Bah. But I can't believe the shepherd would try to find me. Why would the shepherd come out on this terrible, cold, stormy night? Bah, bah. Snowflake cried. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, she heard something. What was it? Snowflake. What? Did you hear that? Snowflake. It was the good shepherd. The shepherd's trying to find. Bah, bah, here I am. Here I am. Bah, bah. Oh, pretty soon, Snowflake couldn't even cry. Her throat was sore. Bah, bah. But the shepherd kept coming and kept calling, coming, falling over rocks. The thorn bushes pulled it at his face and neck and hands and arms too. I cried. And all of a sudden, Snowflake felt the good shepherd reach down and pull her out of that thorn bush. And when he pulled her up with his staff and his loving hands, he wrapped her in his robe, right close to his heart. And soon, soon, Snowflake felt warm. The, the shepherd made his way back home and called all his friends. And the Bible says, right here, I'm going to read it to you right out of God's word, boys and girls. Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Oh yes, I was not a lamb anymore. I was the shepherd's sheep and I would never run away from the good shepherd again. Well, boys and girls, this story of Snowflake, mm -hmm, right here, this story of Snowflake is a story about our good shepherd, Jesus. Good she our good shepherd, Jesus, loves us so much. And the Bible says that all we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. But the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity or the sin of us all. This good shepherd became a lamb, the lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. This good shepherd loved us so much that he came to seek and to save that which is lost. The good shepherd wants to find every one of us. Are we willing to come? When the shepherd calls us by name and calls us to himself, oh, what a wonderful, wonderful lesson. You see, boys and girls, the good shepherd, mm -hmm, that's Jesus. And we are like Snowflake, this little lamb. And Jesus wants all of us to come to him. Let's pray and thank the Lord for this wonderful lesson. Lord, thank you for this lesson of Snowflake. Thank you for my boys and girls. And oh, I look forward to having them all back in my class so very soon. I pray that you keep them all safe and healthy. I love them so much. Lord, I love them, but I know you love them more. Thank you for loving us. We love you because you first loved us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, I look forward to having you back in class real soon. I love you all. Bye-bye now.